guys, Rebecca Alvey here. It is that time of year again. Um, can't name a Rymo. And so let's talk today about what is Nana Rymo and how is camp different. Um, because there are a lot of differences and um sometimes you might want to do one over the other. You can do both, but you might prefer one over the other. So, Nana Rymo is short for National Novel Writing Month. The traditional NaNoWriMo takes place in November, and the challenge is to write 50,000 words in 30 days. Um, the goal is to prioritize quantity over quality, so we can, you know, learn to just get the words on the page and not worry so much about editing and writing the perfect first draft, because that's really impossible to do, <laughs> honestly. Um, Camp NaNoWriMo is a more flexible version of that. Um, it takes place in April and July. I always forget if it's April and June or April and July, but it is April and July. Um, and in this one, you can set your own goal. You don't have to write 50,000 words. You can. You can still set that as your goal. Or you can have your own word count. You can decide to track hours spent writing or like pages edited or even just Yes, I completed it. I mean, you could have the goal be one word, and then once you complete your draft, you can be like, I wrote one word, I completed my one draft. Woo! Uh, one of the unique aspects of Camp NaNoWriMo compared to traditional NaNoWriMo is the cabin. Um, instead of just writing and um, starting by yourself, you can have a cabin of other people who have similar interests to yours. Um, this is changing. They are, um, extending the groups into traditional NaNoWriMo, but up until, like, the last year or so, it's been camp-specific. But it is really cool to have that cabin experience so you can have a smaller group of people to be like, Hey, I did this today, and cheer you on. And the people that you meet there through NaNo, through various NaNo events, you'll have potentially as friends in the writing community after camp or after traditional NaNoWriMo. That is hard to say a lot. I keep tripping over the word. But um, anyway, Camp NaNoWriMo offers a lot more flexibility since you can tailor your goals to your writing style, your product, your schedule. And it allows you to work on revisions. I mean, you can do any of that for traditional NaNoWriMo in November, but it's harder to track. Anyway, um, so you can work on short stories, nonfiction, or even collaborative writing easier than when you're stuck with the traditional fertility word goal. Uh, and whether you're a plotter or a pantser, Camp NaNoWriMo will probably work better for you. Because you can actually use plotting as one of your goals. You can say, I'm going to plot, you know, this much of the book. Whereas, if you're a pantser, you can just write. Um, there's some resources um, available on the NaNo website that are available all year round. And they have writing prompts, webinars, pep talks from published authors, and just generally other tools to help. Um, guide you, inspire you, and support you through your writing journey. Deciding whether you want to do NaNoWriMo or Camp NaNoWriMo really depends on your goals, preferences, and availability. Um, if you structure in a, if you thrive in a structured, high-pressure environment, this traditional NaNoWriMo is great for you. If you prefer a more flexible approach, you're probably going to do better in Camp NaNoWriMo in April or July. And honestly, um, you can do both. Like, you can do, well, it's not both, all. You can do the camps in April and July and still do the traditional NaNoWriMo in November. It really doesn't matter. Um, you're just going to have more flexibility with, with uh, the goals that you can set in the camps. Speaking of goals that you can set, let's talk about my goals. Um, I was really up in the air about what I wanted my goals to be, because I am working on Cold Wings, but I'm not, I'm recording this halfway through July because I'm about to be out of town for a week and a half, um, but my goal, I finally decided, 
was to complete 80 scenes in Cold Wings. Um, I would love to finish the book, but as of right now, again, mid-June, I think it's June 12th when I'm recording this, um, based on where I am right now, I can't guarantee that finishing the entire draft by the end of July is even viable. So it feels like it feels too extreme to commit to that as my goal. So I'm just gonna say do 80 scenes. And yes, I know that's a lot of scenes. I have four point of view characters and I'm writing each like beat from each point of view. Um, they all have their own separate storylines that come together about at the midpoint. Some are earlier, some are later. Um, and I kind of know that not all of these scenes are going to make it to the final draft, but I'm still writing them all to begin with, so I have a better op better collection of scenes to pick and choose from when I'm getting into the editing stage. So for right now, I'm just writing all of them, and so there are a lot of scenes. Yes. But 80 scenes is really, like, barely half of the book. Maybe a little over half. I would have a wire check. So I think that's a good goal for camp. Um, it's entirely possible that I change it between now and and um camp beginning because again I am recording this early due to being out of town for a few weeks. So um I will post in the comments if I happen to change any change my goal between now and then. But um that is my goals. Um, so if you're choosing to do Camp NaNoWriMo, it's a great opportunity for creative growth and just getting to know people in the writing community. Um, it challenges you to push your boundaries a little bit with writing and it's just like a personal writing adventure. You can set your own goal and go as far as you want down the path to, to finishing your story or whatever it is you're writing. Um, the most important thing is to enjoy the process and let your creativity run free. Happy writing. Um, and if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and um, comment down below with what your July goals are. If you're participating in camp or if you're not, just what your goals are in general. Um, and that is all I have. So. Don't forget to subscribe to see more from me. I post every Friday a new video, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!